The course that I teach is Environmental Studies 126, which is on three things, energy, food, and trash, all of them in the context of the UW-Madison campus. In the course we use the campus and campus sustainability as a small situated case study, um, a place-based case study, and so for the food section of the course, uh, we just look at, instead of a global food supply chain, just a campus-based food supply chain. Any lab exploration needs to start a conversation, and this is the one that starts a conversation about food. You know, what better way to start a conversation about food than to eat some? But it's more than that, because when you eat a meal, especially if you eat a meal on campus, say at Jinjuru, the food got to Jinjuru by some route. How did it get here? Well, that's part of what they're exploring in the lab. And the other part is, when it got here, what did it take to get it here in terms of energy and in terms of waste along the way? The thing with food is that everyone has to eat. And environmental impact is almost in inevitable with food production. And so I guess it comes down for bang for the buck and efficiency. Can you sustain yourself nutritionally while minimizing your environmental impact. All right, so what we were doing was we were going through the individual ingredients uh, in depth. Um, and I mean, really in depth, like down to like the, you know, the brown sugar, the specific kind of rice, the specific producer of that. Sort of tracking each thing from, uh, from their origins, or as far as we can get anyways. Determining how far they traveled. Um, determining how much they weigh, all that kind of stuff, and all kind of just grouping all that data together on a table, yeah. having it there for us. I think it's interesting seeing how like, big the carbon footprint is of simple things like this. You don't really think about it, but seeing it right in front of you, and how it, like, you affect the environment is a bit interesting. We are not only doing a lab exploration, we're also providing data for campus. And by doing so, feeding that data back into the system so eventually we can use it to shape um, consumer behavior. There are messages at a lot of levels that I hope students learn. And the two really big messages are, what you eat affects your health, and what you eat affects the health of the planet. 